Well, here we are everyone. Welcome to my latest adventure. I'm on a new lake, brand new lake. Just literally got here today, joined it, I'm on. So, let's let the adventure begin. We can use boats on this one, out echoes, everything. So, a little bit of France in the UK. That's why I'm looking at it. Anyway, literally just arrived late on a Friday afternoon. I've now got the bivvy quickly put up because it's like raining. Dump all the stuff in there. Get some bank sticks in the ground. Get out in the boat. Drop a few markers, a bit of bait, and let's get some rods out on them tonight. So, don't know nothing about the place. Don't know what it's like on the bottom out there, anything. But here we go, new adventure, come on. Let's see what we can do. It's a big old gaff, 300 acre. So, scope to move. Plenty to go at. Don't even know what's in here. But there we go. Anyway, well pleased. New adventure begins. Let's get to it. See you in a mo. Okay, quick update. It's been a bit of a mad rush getting down here from work, getting on the lake, getting hold of the boat, loading it up, getting down, finding somewhere to fish that I'm just in here because it just looks nice. No, I haven't seen anything, but nice little bay. Um, as you can see there, it just goes round and off into a little bay and then round into the main bit of the lake, damn wall far up that end. I'll take you out in the boat tomorrow and show you what I'll put me spots, but yeah, quickly plotted up, bivvies up, stuff's just there, just in case it rains. Um, managed to get three rods out, but you can use four. Um, was going to put that one out, but buzz is packed up, I can't believe it. So, yeah, we're down at three. Yeah, it's just brand new batteries, put them in it the other day and it worked, but we'll uh, try some new batteries tomorrow. Maybe they, uh, got knocked on, but I can't see that. But, yeah, anyway, shame, because I would like to have had the fourth one out. But something to do tomorrow, if not, it's going to have to be a bit of, a bit of, um, Maybe three or four, the extra one out of the day, and then uh, bring it in at night. Then we only got two nights anyway. But yeah, this is it. Boat is absolutely huge. You can hire these boats. Petrol outboard on the back. Uh, yeah, to be honest, too big. Too big for putting rods out, but perfect for getting your gear in. I think what I'll start doing is um, bringing a little inflatable and tow it behind. And uh, and then I just use this to cart my gear about, and and then uh, a little boat to put the rods out. But yeah, anyway, this is it. I'm going to get in the bed soon. So at the minute, got one rod on that point. But it goes around the point there, about seven foot. Come out to about somewhere around about there. You probably can't see, but there's an H block out there. Put a little bit of um, oily and nuts and bits and bobs around it um, drop the rig there and then I'll put one round to the right here and again uh, about 13 14 foot lovely and hard really hard bits but uh, yeah that was went down lovely bit of bait there's plenty of scope to put another rod out in the middle uh, if I'll get it going but yeah that is it so that's where we're at I'm not uh, confident, put it that way, because you don't really know what's going on. It's all new. But yeah, we'll get there, we'll get there. So yeah, see you in the morning or maybe later tonight if anything happens. But the locks are loaded, they're all on, ready to roll. And I'm getting in the bed. Right, see you later, peeps. Okay, well it's now the Saturday morning. Quiet night, nothing happened, no beeping. Uh, a little bit of rain this morning, but kettle is on. So let's have a nice cup of tea and uh, just sit, sit and watch for a while. And didn't hear anything, didn't seen anything. 
So, yes. So I think you just got to sit, sit and keep an eye out, keep watching. Have a little wander around. Um, and then maybe late this afternoon, maybe go out and just check a couple of the rods, make sure they haven't been crayed or um, bringed or something's happened to them. Just lift a couple and just check everything's good, you know. Just there are crayfish in here, I believe, so best to check them out to make sure that they're still fishing. And then just sit and do probably do another night, unless I see anything, I'll probably stay put. Uh, have a little look around maybe tomorrow morning when I'm packed up have a little drive about to see what things look like check get some depths get some ideas get ready for the next session hopefully be a bit of a longer one but yeah it's certainly good I'm enjoying it so far rowers out on the lake having a little practice up a little bit of training yeah no still sitting waiting I mean you couldn't really ask for much more carp you ever so uh, yeah looking good I fell her up the lake a bit apparently he's had one so they are feeding He's obviously, I think he's up in deeper water. Okay, lovely. A little bit of success with the buzzer. Not a fish, but we've got it working. So, fourth rod in play. Just to prove the point. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so there you go. She's out there. She's out on the dance floor. In a bit of silk, that one. 14, 14 and a half foot silk. Not deep silt, but siltier than the other spots are all hard, so they're all still out from last night. I will lift one or two later to see how they're faring on the bottoms, but yeah, anyways, it stands. We've got an eight flock out there. I don't know if you can see that. Somewhere out there. It will be there. Um to see some in the eyes but um yeah h block out there just off fishing off the front right hand side of the h block lovely little up and down a little bit going on there quite hard bottom in about 14s um so yeah that's it sits on there that fourth rod just put out in the tilt area still got the one over there on the point it's in about six and a half foot of water quite a, a smooth hard bottom Along that sort of margin, just as the point goes round, fish back this side a bit, uh, and then one out in open water on another H block out there. That that one there is on a nice little. It's a, looks like a really nice little spot. Looks like there might be a few little bumps and lumps on the bottom. So some sort of feature down there. Donked it about, went down nice, come up nice, went down nice. Done it two or three times just to put double check in it. So yeah, happy with them. Just got to see how the baits are faring anyway on a couple of them or at least one. And then we'll just sit it out. But I mean, conditions are perfect, really. Perfect for it. So, yeah. Hopefully, get the camera out again soon, show a bit more. Well, Sunday morning now, I've not had a lot of a lot of um caught get the camera out, it's for sure. It's just been the same old. Sat here waiting, watching, and seen any nothing, so uh final few hours, pack up, have a mooch about, get a bit more video and then plan for the next trip really. It was only have a little bit of a just come down, find out how it all works, how you get your boat, uh, meet a few people and all the rest of it. So, yeah, I'm really pleased with the place. So, I mean, it's absolutely stunning, beautiful, quiet, lovely. So, yeah, going to definitely spend a little bit of time down here. 
But yeah, Rods are still out at the moment. Sunday morning, about five in the morning. Let's uh, see what the final few hours bring. And I'll start the old pack down and off we go. Sunday morning, sun coming up. Yeah, well, must admit what lovely water this is. Incredible water. It's got such good potential, this place. It's just so interesting. You know, I was just, I think it's just magnificent looking. Swims, lovely spaced out swim, loads of water to fish. Once you locate them and get on them, I think you'll catch them. Well, yeah, it's just, um, you know, the first couple of days on here. So, yeah, I'm going to load that up in a little while. Um, yeah, get the rods in, pack everything up in a bit and just go for a little drive about. Obviously, just try and have a little look at the family other swims on the other side. Maybe way back up the lake. Uh and see what he looks like. But yeah, been really enjoyable first couple of days. Don't see the fish, haven't caught fish, but you know what, it's not all about that. It's about being in a beautiful place, and this is definitely a beautiful place. One more cup of tea. And I'll start slowly getting things organized and put into the great big boat. But yeah. See you in a bit. Okay, just bought uh, one of the rods in. This one's been out since I got here, this one. Uh, just bought it in. So it's been out there, what, 36 hours, I suppose. And look, that has had a bit of attention from the craze. That was a 24 mil hardened hook bait. Don't get me wrong, I was still fishing, but I said the had the topper off, had a good old claw at that. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, these little baits, we've stood it, which was a hardened one. Obviously, I will wrap them from now on, I think, for, for getting that sort of attention. Or they've got to be done every day, basically, refreshed. So yeah, first time here, just sussing it out there, going another little learning curve for this place. But yeah, that's a set up with six ounce lead. I did put a back lid on because I weren't sure what the boat situation was like, if it was going to be sailing boats, but didn't see any really, so I might be able to do away with those. But yeah, that is it. Anyway, I'll bring some more in and show you what they look like. Okay, and this is uh, the rig that it's only been out 24 hours. Well, no, it's not even 24 hours. 12 hours. This one I put in the Siltview area, snowman style, set up like that. Hardened 18 mil bottom bait with a topper. Well, it looks to me, slight bit of a tension there, but the rest of it's pretty good. That looked fine, rig came in fine. We used a little boom section just to, to help with that straightening out purposes if things are fiddling with it, but yeah, so that one. You know, oh sorry, yeah, no, it's probably been out 24 hours nearly, yeah. Yeah, just under 24 hours that one, so yeah, that's all right. I'm glad, happy that, that was fishing as well. So there you go, let's get the next one in. Well, got the other two um, rigs in. And uh, one had been out there again for a while. Uh, been 
bit like the first one I showed you. The other one had already been touched, so all the rods are all the rods are fishing. So that's a bonus. But hooks are getting blunted. I think they're getting smashed around a little bit on the bottom by the getting pestered by the craze and the hooks are dulling over big time. So again, gonna have to address that situation. Um, I'm gonna check them out because there's one one that was in the silt and one that were on the hard sandy bits. So I'm gonna assess what what damage has been done to each rig when I get back and work out what's the best scenario, what's the best bottom to be putting it on. But obviously, fish location is number one. So yeah. Anyway, the boat's slowly getting loaded, then we'll go for a little look around. Just got that lot to get away, so shouldn't take long. See you in a bit. Here we are, leaving to swim. Just going to have a little look around. That's a bit windy, see if you can hear it. But uh, I'll uh, try to keep you out of the wind if I can. Yeah, we're going to scoot across the other side. We'll see what happens. Here on the far opposite where I was fishing. I don't know if you can hear me, but yeah. Oh, look at this lovely little bit here. Go here. Sure, best to swim or not. Six foot here. Yeah. Yeah, looks like you could probably fish it from over that swim there. Oh yeah. Very interesting. Very carpy. Look at that way, right time of year.
Well, hello. Here we are, back. Trip number two, session number two on the big res. So, here we are, got here. Uh, found some nice spots out there, which I'll hopefully try and show tomorrow. It's always a bit of a mad rush, but rods are out, four rods out. One there, heading off out, not very far out. 45, 50 yards out. Um, left hand rod, 100 yards out. Middle rod, 110 yards out. Right hand rod, over to the H block, just to the right of it. Probably about 50 yards out. I can see that or not, but yeah. We'll show you around tomorrow, but it's now getting on a bit. It's gonna get dark soon. But I'm here, I'm having another go. So yeah, session number two. Two nights ahead of me, Friday night, all day Saturday, overnight Saturday, Sunday, morning, pack up and go. But yeah, here we are, plotted up again. Um, yeah, just sorting out a few bits, getting comfortable. But yeah, this time I bought my little boat with me, just a little tiny one, it's gone out, found some spots with it. Little echo, little motor, lovely, brilliant. As long as it don't get too windy, that'd be fine. But yeah, that's a game changer for finding better spots. The boat's great for getting the gear over, but it ain't good for going out putting rods out. So yeah, they're all out there, locked and loaded, ready to roll. So yeah, let's see what the night brings. Well, the night's drawing in fast now. It's time to have a quick cup of coffee, I think. Make myself a nice brew. Uh, get myself chilled out, I think. Sit back and see what happens as the sun goes down and the night draws in. But it's coming quick now. So we're now in, uh, we're in August, middle of August. And uh, we're, still, we're still getting fairly good evenings but it won't be long before it gets dark quicker. Obviously the mornings don't get light for a bit longer. Not to get light to about half five now. But I mean, this was predominantly a night water at one point. So the longer it's dark, probably better chance you have. I'm gonna set all the bobbins, uh, buzzers, sen real sensitivity maxed out. Cause I know there's a craze in here, so I wanna know if I'm getting any knocks. I've chosen not to put any back leads on this time. And no back leads. Uh, it drops off pretty quick in front of this swim. So I'm hoping that's gonna do the job if anything comes too close. But we can always add them if we need to. If it looks dodgy and boats start coming in, we'll, uh, we'll drop a couple on. But for now, I'm gonna max everything up. See whether we get any little knocks or anything. So I'll need to go maximum sensitivity on all of these buzzers. Let me just have a quick check. Let's have a little look while you're here with me. What we got? Sensitivity. I think it's the bottom one. Yeah. Max. Max. So we're on. Yeah, we're on. Check the last one. Check this one. And then, uh, I think we're on. Yep. Yep. Check it out. So, the buzz is all working this time. So, hopefully, won't have any dramas. But, yeah. Come on. Can we wrinkle one out this time? Feeling confident, must admit. More confident than last time. But time will tell. So yeah, time to get tucked up, drink your coffee. Might get the camera out one more time before uh, bed. Uh, and maybe in the middle of the night if we're lucky. So there we go. See you in a bit. Here we are, first thing in the morning, Saturday. Just made a cup of tea. Quiet all night. And then, the left end rod's just gone. 
So we do have our first carp in the net. First res carp, and there it be. So we're going to get it out, have a little look. But yeah, very welcome. Always welcome your first fish. Nice little mirror. It's not big, but it's number one. So there you go. So yeah, very pleased with that. Quiet night, as I said. Not a lot happening. Not a lot of boshing, but off it's gone. And that was from me long left rod. Which is out there somewhere. You can't see the H prop. But he's out there. So yeah. I shall go and put that rod back on the spot. So let's get the fish sorted. Yes, yeah, a fish number one. Can't complain about this at all. Always pleased to get your first fish. So we're going to now get him out of the water. And there he is. And there. Very nice. Right, let's get him out. There you go then. First look at this fish. What we got? You're seeing it because I'm seeing it. Look at that. Lovely little fish. Well done. That man, well done. Right, see if we can hold the little girl up. Or little boy, whatever, but yeah. Very pleased with the first fish. Lovely shape. Proper little beauty, look. Should we get closer, shall we? Let's move it all closer. Come on, let's get a bit closer. Oh, there you go, that might be Right, here we go. First little carpses out of the res. <laughs> there you go. Second second session. Felt a bit more confident. But there it is. Yeah. Very, very pleased with that. Quick look at the other side. And then we'll get him back in. A little discus. There we go, the other side. Very welcome, that. Right, back in she goes. Go. Just about to go back in. Let me get a bit of sun on it. Yeah. Got to be very pleased with that. Right, let's try and get you in. Take you out a bit. Take you out in a bit of deeper water. Mind me other lines. Look at back as a swim. There you go. Always a welcome sight that one. So they're all drying out now. Hopefully, not for too long, but yeah, that is, that's the what, what I wanted, one of those. So that is a yeah, great start now, a fish from the lake, not the biggest, but pretty little thing, a little stocky. Let's get the net back together just in case something else goes off. But yeah, very, 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 very pleased. Yeah, so that's the rig. Just had the fish on. Uh, there you go, fold it up there. Yeah, a little pair of those. Hardened bottom baits. Pair of 18s, hard ones on there. A little bit of uh, fluorocarbon. A little bit of fluorocarbon. A little quick change, supple link on the bottom. Which I just like to put on with a bead over there. 
baits and just got it on a little helicopter helicopter lead but yeah that's what I've done with my first fish for me so I shall put redo that put another couple on so but might as well change them could be out there a while and yeah see what see what happens see can we get another one Right, I'm just off out in the boat to reset that rod, yeah? So, I'm going to try and do this to show you the way. What I've got to do, I've not got a lot of room in this boat for doing all of this, but I have to manage it. So, here we go, out to the spot. The depth's in there, dropping off 30 feet there, Jesus. Yeah, it's a sweet little drop off. Might try that sometime. Flattening out. Yeah, my marker. It's just out here. So I'm going to get out to that. I'm going to just lower it over side, tie a little bit of bait, and run the rod back to the bank. There's all sorts of little bits going on. Yeah. Getting close to the mark now. So where where we have the fish from? So it should start coming up in a second. When it starts coming up, we're getting near to it. So I'm gonna slow her down. If it goes into this bit here, it should start rising. It should start rising up. Hopefully. Hopefully so. Is it going to start coming up in a minute? Start coming up. Come on. It's just going to be over. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. It starts coming up here. It's a real hard spot. Just about. goes on down there. Something happens just here. Nice and hard. Just about there. That'd be hard spot. That's the spot. Yeah, it's a rock hard, that is. That's where we're going to put it. And there it is. So I think this whole little area here. Nice. Let's put it down there. Right, like put you away. Right, well, that's it then. That rod is now back in. Walked and loaded. Ready to roll. So, quick buzzer check. She's on. Sorted. A couple of friends turn up. Boat's hooked back up. Everything's off. Oh. So, yeah, very pleased. Well, I could do another drink though. Yeah, back up to the boudoir, tidy up a bit. Always make a mess when you catch fish. There you go, I'm going to have a good tidy up now. See you in a bit.
about half eleven now, Saturday morning. No, nothing else has happened. Rods are all still out in positions. Gonna leave till the afternoon, let the wind die, then I'll probably redo the rods. Check them out. But yeah, sun's out, it's very beautiful. Bit of a wind. Uh, just got to sit out. Maybe we will have a shout later on tonight or in the morning again. But they're out and waiting. A little bit of rain coming in now, Saturday afternoon. Been a bit blustery. Sunny, cloudy, but look, rain. So, hopefully, not too much. That looks quite heavy over there now. Yeah. Yeah, see it comes. About to get wet, I think. Right, better go. Yeah, coming down now. First bit of proper rain on the reservoir. So, hopefully I bought the right kit. Look at the difference over the back there now. See them hills easily earlier. Just all of a sudden it's come in. Yeah. You can see it coming down. A few guys out here fishing for pike, perch. Put it wranglers out here. You can find them. Yeah, there you go. I think they're getting a bit wet. Mm. Oh, I might have one on there, got in there out. Getting a bit drenched. There was a couple of people fishing over. I think there was a couple of fellas fishing over here earlier. You can't even focus. But hey ho, there we go. A bit of rain. This might spur another bite on. You never know. Saturday evening, about half past six. Uh, I've just done a, redone a couple of the rods. I was hoping the wind was going to die, but I don't think it's going to. So I've had to brave it, get out there, get the right hand rod and the rod I had to fish on redone. So um, the rod I had to fish on, I had a bream on. So that needed redoing anyway. So that's all fresh back out there now for the night. But yeah, don't know if the wind will die, I don't think it will. But anyway, they're out there. No crayfish problems. So that's good no damage so I'm gonna leave the other two I'm not even gonna bring them in uh, we'll see what they like tomorrow they would have had the full beans out there then full time yeah drawing a bit of gear out so yeah happy days just see what happens later locked and loaded for the night ahead see what it brings oh dear let's take it out yeah I must admit getting old that's the problem yeah, they're all back out. They're all on the dance floor, waiting to go. Tomorrow we'll be going on. So I'm going home happy bunny. Can we be go home double happy? So, let's see. Hoping for good things. I would have liked to have got out there and done the other two rods, but I think I'll do more damage trying to put them down in this than, uh, than I would leaving them. So yeah, no cray damage. So I'm going to confidently leave them, leave them out there. Maybe if it drops a little bit later, I might scoot out quickly in the boat, just freshen it up over the top. I know exactly where the spots are. Give it a little live and a little bit of tickle. But it probably won't happen, but if it, if it does quiet enough, I'll get out there. Well, that was a bit of a, bit of a bummer. Uh, same rod just ripped off. 
Um, I don't even look at it. I don't even look at. It. I can't even speak. Just woke up, but now same rod just ripped off. About two o'clock in the morning. Uh, had it on. Had it probably ninety percent of the way back. Oh, just look, just pulled out. Didn't feel big to be fair, but it, it certainly ripped off. Probably a small one, but yeah, a bit of a shame that one. But yeah, for the record, that was one just dropped. So uh, we'll have to get Rob back out as soon as it gets light. I think get back on the spot. I don't think he can really go out at night on the boat. So uh, we're going to do it first light. Get it back out. Yeah, shame, but it was another another chance. Did it? Let's see what happens. Well, I've got the CV, but. About another hour later, got another bite. This time, this time the uh, right hand rod, different rod this time. You know, it's gone off. We got one in the net. Nice little common. So we're gonna sort that out now. See what we can do. There we go, first glimpse of it in the net. Have a little look at that later. Yeah, but nice result. Very nice. Happy days, get sorted. Well, time for a cup of tea, I reckon. Of that last capture. Overfilled it. Yes. Boom. Oh dear. There she goes. Kettle's on. Lovely. Right. Okay. Let's get back in the chair. Back in the chair. Back in. Oh. Let me put a bit of light on. A little bit of light on. Yeah. That's better. Yeah, so the kettle's on. Uh, two o'clock in the morning now. It was actually about one o'clock when I lost that last fish. So I got in bed. Put the old telly on. Phone on for a bit of the wall, and uh, hold on, oh, it's getting sorted. And uh, yeah, rod went off again, different rod this time, different rod, and uh, very pleased with it. I know you turn the camera on me, eh? have a look. No. Right, and hold on. That's it. Got the screen switched around now, so it seems myself right. Yeah, so as I was saying, lost that last fish uh, just after one in the morning by the time I checked the clocks. Put the telly on for a little while, put my phone on, started watching something just to chill out. Uh, about an hour later, my right hand rod's gone off. And that's the one I've got in the in the bag. It's only a small common, but it's another fish. So yeah, I'm well pleased with that. Kettle's on now, gonna have a quick cup of tea, chill out, should get light in them. Couple of hours. Back at it for word of my buzzer then. Uh, yeah. So yeah, cup of tea time. Well pleased. <laughs> Happy days. See you in a bit. Sunday morning, just getting light. I've just done the uh, two rods that needed to go back out, so we've got all four back out now for the last little spell this morning. The right hand rod fishing quite close into the marker where I had the, that common is uh, that was easy, 
Uh, no problem. Um, slight technical problem we got is my rod that's done two bites. Somehow the mark has moved. Whether the fish went round it last night, I don't know. But it, when I got out there, it was like miles away. Either that or the wind moved it, but it weren't where it's supposed to be. So we had to sort of have a little scope about to try and refine the spot when it was just getting light. So I think I've got something near, but not bang on. So I didn't want to spend too long out there. Just thought I'm on a hard bit, same sort of depth. So I'm in the area, but may not be bang on it. So we'll just suck it and see with that rod. Um, once it does get light, I'll be able to eye up where my line's going and see whether it's sort of looking fairly good. But yeah, that is it. So we're all back fishing Sunday morning. About six o'clock in the morning, I reckon it is now. I'll just show you quickly. I'll just show you what what we're using. So yeah, what we've got. I'm using these 24 millers CC more live system. Very hard. They're, they're the shelf line version, so they are harder. So I'm using those and then mixing it in with some peanuts, black tigers and a bit of buckwheat and then a bit of crushed up nut as well uh, just to get, just put a bit of cloud in the water but yeah that's the bait we're on so basically a couple of shovels of that out there in the lake chuck a few boilies around it, freebies around it as well Oh yeah, and that's what I'm using bait wise. So I'll put the lid back on there. That's all I've got left bait now. Over here with me anyway. So that's what we got to play with. Enough for one or two more two more if need to be there. But yeah, I must admit this little boat has been brilliant. A tiny little thing. Gets me in it, a little motor on it, little battery, echo sounder, smooth as you like out there maneuverable uh, yeah so that's worked well anyway let's uh, head back up and have another little chill out for a little while right it's now time to have a little look at the prize let's put it unhooked see what happens so here we go, who's the prize? This little common, number two from the lake, first common from the lake. Never gonna grumble about that. Of that. Get him straight back in there now. Not gonna mess about. Time for him to go home. But yeah. Yeah, nice little session turning out. Nice to get a couple. Let's move me bucket. There you go. Number two. Get back in the water. Oh 
time to start packing away. Rods are still out in a minute. Everything else is starting to get loaded. But this is it. You have to get all your gear into the boat. That's uh, probably 80% of it in the boat. So yeah, not too much stuff. Um, yeah, getting that loaded in. We'll leave the rods out till last, put the net away. But at the moment we're packing away all this lot, tidying up, drying a few bits out. But yeah, nearly the end of another session. But very pleased with this this part of the adventure. So second second yeah second trip down basically fourth night. Four nights. Four nights, two fish, one lost. So pretty pleased with that considering I don't know nothing about the place. So I'm happy with that. Then you'll have to show you a bit more as we head off out in the boat. Well I just bought my left hand rod in. This one has been out since we got here, since I've been here, so it's been out the full session. It's come in and it's only got a wafter, a little wafter on the bottom and a little pink, pink one on the top. Now, if you can see that, not a lot, not a lot of, to be honest, I expected more damage than that. So there you go, that stood the test of time, happy with that. So yeah, hook's still sharp, and bait's still good, so yeah, that is it, so that one's in, please with that, at least still fishing, I ain't wasting my time. Right, there we go, turn it off, this is it, the final rod's coming in, left it out there as long as I dare, slowly packed away the others, that's the one that done two bites, uh, packed all the others away, all still had baits on tiny little bit of crayfish damage on some of them but not a lot um, yeah so little few things to think about that I've learnt along this along the way this trip so yeah it's been a great trip right let's go and retrieve the age blocks on the way in boat is loaded boat is loaded up I'll show you that in a minute first up I want to get my age blocks Van's all loaded, ready to roll home. So it's all in there, all packed away. It's about to pour down with rain, I think, out here. So I've timed that just right. Wind's kicking off as well. So there you go, all in all, trip well done. We'll do a little, we'll do a little uh, synopsis later. See what the next plan is. Well, here we are, back at the uh, reservoir, session number three. After the success of last time, I managed to get a four day. So I've just literally arrived, boat's pumped up, bivvy's up, we'll get all this lot sorted now. So I'm going to go out and find a few spots, start getting uh, things in place, a little bit of bait around them, sit and watch. Rod's out late this afternoon I think. Got plenty of time, there's no wind as well. Fairly flat this time so hopefully find some really nice spots, that's the plan. But anyway here we are. We're here. Session number three, let it commence. Right then, we've got every single rod out, all four, all out on the dance floor. So this give you a little rundown. Hopefully you can hear me. The wind's not too bad. Right, left hand rod. Just been put out. You got a little corner of the dam here. Lovely little corner. So I've just put one off of that boy, come round, drops off into about nine foot there. Nine foot, there's a little bit of something going on, on the bottom, a little bit up and down, a little bit rough on the bottom, fairly solid. Dropped it there, three or four scoops over the top of a little bit of jollop, uh, fishing tigers on that rod. 
So that's out, it's an easy car set of spot. 40 yards. So, tomorrow a little marker out there and I'll probably cast that one. We'll see what happens tonight. Right, this one. So this is the uh, next rod round. This one's fishing out. I don't know where we'll see it, but there's a blue flag on the far side. That's the blue flag. Somewhere under that should be my H block. I don't know if we can pick it up. I can't see it, but it should be on the line of that blue flag. 26 foot of water, soft. Fishing, double 18 mil bollock rig. So that's what's on there. Next rod round. Next rod round. Fishing out towards the machine. There should be an H block out that way. This is in 20 feet of water. I don't know if we, whether you can see me H block. I can't see it, but maybe on the big screen you can. Anyway, out that way. H block 20 foot, harder bottom. That is where the third rod is. Right now, facing into the wind, you probably won't be able to hear me, so I'm going to stand around this way. Just starting to rain. This rod is fishing out towards the guy in the boat, basically. There's an H block out that way. I mean, just see right. Just fishing off of that. Now that one there is in 14 feet of water. Comes up out of the depths onto a nice little plateau out there. Fishing out 14 foot. Give that one a go. Probably can't hear me because of the wind, but I'll tell you again, yeah, 14 foot that rod out on the plateau. So it's getting seven o'clock at night, just starting to lose the light. Boat's all chained up, I'm happy with that. That boat's all chained up. The solar panel's gone away, which I showed you earlier. It seemed to work well. So I'll get that out again tomorrow, put the old battery on charge. If that works, it's gonna be a new way forward. So everything's stowed for the night. We've got a few bit of bait going on around the back. This is the bait I'm gonna use for the four days. Not got a vast amount with me, but once again, we're on a CC more live system. So we're fishing two rods on Tigers, and we're fishing two rods on the Bollocks Rig. So, jumping a little bit. Bit is all cosy. I am uh, all set up in there. We'll get in and show you. All right, we're in the bivvy now. So, got myself a little cook station set up. I think the weather might get a little bit rainy. I've only got a little bivvy. I've got to make it so it works all round. So, I can cook, get me water, all from inside the bivvy. That's the view. And we've got a bit of stuff stashed down here. So, yeah, I'm all comfy, cool box there, grub there. Anything that's wet can stay outside. It doesn't matter if it gets wet. So it's all the way. But yeah, going back to the fishing. Last time I came, I managed to have two fish, two fish and dropped one. So that was the right result for the uh, second session down. I'm now fishing one swim up to the left from the last swim. I thought I'd give it another go, just further up. So I want to try and get to know the place a bit. So each time I'm planning on doing a different swim. But anyway, we're not far from where I had the fish. But the lesson I learned from the last one was all the three bites all came on hook baits that were on the bottom. There were no bright, any, I had two rods I had the bright colours on, didn't get a sniff, but two bites on the bollocks rig, on the bottom, fished on the deck, matched the hatch style, got the bite, I had one, dropped one. With my right hand rod where I had the other fish, I picked that up, that again was fished on a bottom bait, uh, on the bottom, match the hatch, 24 mil boily, and I had the bite. So didn't get a touch on the other rod. So I had, I had a bite on me, two bites on me left hand rod, and two bites on me right, uh, one bite on me right hand rod. Two rods in the middle, nothing. So 
lesson I've learned is I'm going bottom bait, match the hatch, tigers on the bottom with um, the bollocks rig on the bottom. So anyway, that's it. That's what I'm going for. Let's see what happens. Right, half past two in the morning. We've managed to have this little common. So not, not gonna hang on to him. I'm gonna get him back in. But yeah, a little common. Probably, do you know what I mean? Be lucky if that's 10 pound. There you go, another fish, just get back in. Wednesday morning now. Had the one little common last night, so it's another bite, another fish. Was on the mat, back in the water. So, pleased with that to get the bite, but they're all small at the moment. All the ones I've had have been very small fish. I feel sort of stocky. Um, stockies or they've bred on one or the other babies but yeah lovely lovely little sunrise today look at that it's sweet very 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 nice so yeah anyway uh, the take was on the my right hand rod that one there which is the rod that is fishing probably just in the similar area that I had the two fish last time. So I've moved up one swim, which means my right hand rod can just get on the edge of that swim I was in, and that's the rod that went. So that is that telling you something? And that was a 14 foot bit as well. So maybe looking to adjust to that sort of depth, but saying that, I do would like to catch a a bigger fish now are the bigger ones going to be in the same area I don't know but maybe we'll have a little adjust of one or two just to get a similar depth as that one at least we've got two or two on the money where where you're getting bites so maybe that's the way to go I'm going to keep watching out because if needs be I will move down the bank back towards where I was but maybe slightly further the other way there's a lovely little swim down there. I'm just trying to keep my eye out if I see anything show. But so far there's a bit of a breeze, so fish spot is not quite so easy. But yeah, that is it, Wednesday morning. Let's see what we can do. I'll leave you with that beautiful shot there. Now about 11 in the morning, solar panels back out, back out on show. I'm gonna give you a little, little show of this, a bit better than yesterday. But as you can see, panels in the sun. I come round here, so my little charge controller, we've got set up there. I'm gonna hold it up, it should cycle through what's going on. So, batteries are 14.1, it's charged at 6.1 amps in the sun, it's incredible. That is, uh, battery voltage 14.1. Temperature, 25. Solar panel's putting at 14.1, and the amp is at 5 amps. Five amps in the sunshine. Just putting a nice bit back in the battery. So, yeah, what I've had to do is rather than go directly from the solar panel into the battery, which I've got in this bag here. Here's my battery. I've got a little um, lithium 50 amp hour battery there. It fits in that bag all right. And uh, yeah, I'm just keeping it topped up with this solar panel. So at the moment, everything seems good. So yeah, that's the plan. But as I say, it is 
11 o'clock Wednesday. I've had a little move around with, with a couple of spots, bought them in, found some 14 foot spots like I had to fish last night, so I'm now doing that. Got some neighbours moving in over there. They're all getting set up. Show you that in a second. Yeah, as I was saying, got some neighbours moving in over there. They're just getting set up. So I'll leave them to it. Wind's picking up a bit now, typically. Um, just going to rebait the rods in a little while. Get them ready for the afternoon stroke tonight bite, hopefully. So yeah, found a couple of new spots. Uh, we'll see what happens. Going bigger baits this time. Stepped it up to 24 mil, double 24. So see if we can maybe wing out slightly bigger fish. Um, but I'm happy so far with another fish. So yeah, all to play for at the moment. Well, I've got plenty of time left. Probably going to end up end up staying here unless I see something obvious I mean them guys have moved from further down the lake so that's telling me that's telling me that they ain't had much joy down there um, or they have and the fish have stopped and they started to follow them up hopefully so they've come up this way st stupid me going down there so we'll see what happens tonight we're gonna you know tonight we've with some new rods in some new positions just like starting afresh anyway so yeah just gonna see what goes on but I'll keep you updated right well it's Wednesday evening now about half five quarter to six um, we're gonna we've got one more rod left to go out on a fairly close in spot on a nice little raised area which I believe is one of these uh, little sunken islands that that um, I'll keep hearing about. So I think I found one of those. It's not too far out, 80 yards out, 70 yards out. Gonna go out there, put that rod down, nice little bit of bait on top of that. Then I'm gonna go out above all the other spots and just give them a nice little freshen up, just, just with a little bit of extra bait. No, uh, no moving the rigs or nothing. They're all in place. Just gonna go home, just put a little bit of tickle over. There's a lot of small fish in here, so I think that they, they, it does get eaten quite quick but if I can go to bed tonight knowing I've got four rods out on the money a little bit of fresh bait on each one then you know I think we're in the game we're in the window for something to happen but yeah um, it's, it looks, it's looking like a night walk to me you know from what I've had already it's, all of them have been pretty pretty in the middle of the night first thing in the morning hours of darkness type fishing the days you might as well write off you may as well not even be fishing to be fair but you know you have to sit through all these quiet spells just for that little window you know you've got these very short little windows and we'll see if we can pick another one up tonight similar time so i'm happy with where the rods are so i'm gonna uh do what i said get them done have a little bit of food get in the bag get everything straightened out i think tomorrow's gonna be a wet day tomorrow so uh, the rods are going to stay on the same sort of positions if I have any bites I'll make sure I go back out on the spots get it all fresh and then tomorrow with a bit, little bit of a change in the weather you never know could spur on a bite in the day but we're not seeing fish roll we're not seeing anything happening so I've been looking out all day with binoculars can't see a thing so confident what I'm doing let's see if it continues so hopefully camera will be out a bit later on again, let you know I've had one, but you never know. Right, dinner is on. We are going for king size dinner. Look at that. So that is the menu tonight. We had a nice bit of bacon sausage earlier, so we're going for that. Put it back in there. Let's go to get done. For, uh, Advertising. Anyway, view out the door. About half seven, quarter to eight now. Sure, it won't be long till it's dark. So, a quick run down. I've done what I said. I've got that last rod out. I've got that last rod out over there. 
Um, shot out in the boat, put a bit of tickle over all the other three rods that I've done earlier. They're freshly baited, so I can't do any more than that. That is it. Had me rakes round for dinner earlier. There they are. He cleared me out. Ain't got a lot of bait as it is, and uh, this lot love it. So they've had their dinner. I'm going to have mine. And then we're going to sit back, put something on the old phone, watch something, nice early kip, and hopefully hear some fishies bosh. Let, let us know you're here and hopefully maybe a bite. I'm not getting too blase because it's fishing and it can all go wrong. So I'm only I'm only hoping I've done everything I can to help myself out. These fellas here got kitted out. They're now set up rods out. It's a long process whenever you do any of this sort of fishing. I mean them guys that rolled up there this morning. I mean, they've been working all day looking for spots. I mean, that's how long it takes. Literally, they've just got their rods sorted. So, so it's a, it is a lot of work, but rewarding. This sort of fish in here, the big lake like this, it ain't about the size of the fish, mate. It's about catching one, so you got to be pleased with it. I've had a cut, I've had three small ones now, so I would like something, you know, 20 pound, but... Uh, I'm not interested in catching big, big fish. It's not what I'm coming here down this lake for. I don't even think there's big, big fish in here. So just be nice to just plod through, see if we can pick one or two off, get a slightly better fish now and again, and it'll be job done. But anyway, that is the scene. Uh, Wednesday evening, just before going into the sort of the best spell of the day, stroke night. And there we go. I'll leave you with that. I'm going to go and check the pot noodle out. Speak to you guys later. Right, we have a nice mirror, lovely little mirror. Didn't take long, and lift it up. There you go. Look at that. That's that. Nice little mirror. Move it closer to you. Oh, keep still, keep still. There we go. Nice little mirror. Only just, uh, only just gone off. About nine o'clock, half nine. Just chilling out. Off she goes. So if I can get the rod back out, I will. There you go, mate. Get back. Nice look. One quick look at the other side. And go back in. There you go. Lovely. Happy days. Bacarpus Dementus. Lovely. Let's get it back. Well, as you just see, I uh, just picked up another carp a bit earlier than last night. It was um, about half nine. That rod's gone. Nice slow take. Uh, picked it up, wound down. Loads of slack on it, loads of slack. Oh, nothing's there, and all of a sudden, bang, contact. Lead was dropped, come in. A bit bigger than the, the last couple I've had, so. Yeah, and another mirror as well, quite a pale looking thing. So yeah, that's not bad. And I managed to get the rod back out on the spot as well. It's all good, we're all ready to roll for the next bit. So yeah, hopefully one more to come tonight. We've still got all four rods back in play. So, oh yeah, just show you. I'll change the, I'll change the rig over, cause, cause, um, Going out of focus. Focus. Uh, that's what we had it on. You can see that. The old pair of those. A bit swollen. Well, a bit damaged now, but that's that's the aftermath of the rig. Let's clean that lens. Then I hold on. Well, back in play. All right. Can we see that back better? Yeah, that's the rig. Uh, they're a bit damaged now, them. A bit pulled apart, but yeah. Double 24 mil. There you go. Just goes to show. That there was probably about a 15 pound carp. 
and it's that to, to double 24 so yeah never be shy to use big baits even the old small ones can have them so there you go fresh rig on back out on the spot let's see what happens right that rod went back out uh, back on the same spot half an hour later it's gone off again can't complain this time a common uh, about another 15 pound cricket bat common uh, so it's two fish in about an hour and the rod's now back out on the spot again still double 24 mil bollock rig pardon me pardon me sorry about that um yeah so that's back out on the spot i'm going to try and get a bit of kip may it may go off again but night's already done anyway two fish so can't ask more than that but all rods on the dance floor ready to go let's see what we can do onwards and upwards right another one another cricket back common in the net released back out there again no rods not back out there again gonna leave it now I've got the other three rods out that spot keeps doing bites but I just want to see if I can get another rod working so I'm happy with the three we just had so I'm gonna give it probably gonna give it to about two o'clock in the morning and then we'll stick it back out again but yeah at the moment three takes tonight three fishing one uh, two commons one mirror uh, all the same stuff oh god back all the same stamp of fish though you know all these sort of 13 to 15 pounders there you go certainly having a few see what happens next right busy night that was last night uh, nicest looking fish of the bunch this one so we're going to try and get a little bit of footage of it get a bit of water down go a little bit mad it's a nice one um, let's have a little look get it back in as soon as we can it might go a bit mad but it's a lovely fully scaled lovely fully scaled one Fully scaled, thank you very much. Put one on the other side, put one this side, mate. Put one this side, we'll get you back. There you go, other side. Yeah, quite pleased with that one, fully scaled up. Go like that, get you back in there. This is the scene then, Thursday morning after last night. Last night I had. Um, two takes, two takes, three takes on that rod, the end one, right hand rod, one take on the middle rod, got that, got all them in, lost one on this rod this morning here, seemed to have had some, gone around some sort of snag, but the line was cutting before I could feel it, and then uh, it came off. Uh, it, um, it pinged off the snag, but then the rig must have come out so I've just got the whole lot back anyway all three of them back out on the money fresh bait over them fresh rigs on all three of those first thing this morning just for uh, I've done that fish you saw that that's been taken care of this rod ain't done a sniff but I'm going to leave it there see what happens with it 
that's staying there but yeah busy night so so far five five carps one lost that's the scores at the moment but yeah so get things straightened up because I think it's going to rain and uh, yeah that's going to be about it so I'll keep you informed it might be a bit of a bivvy day today if it starts raining but that's uh, my photographic area up there I haven't got the best quality video at the moment I think last night I had a bit of a nightmare with I put a new batteries in me flashlight thing and I think I had it on too bright it was a lot brighter than it was I think it's glared up the fish a bit but yeah we'll have a look at that so rookie mistake I have to think about it next time so yeah till then hopefully we may catch some more Thursday early evening uh, about five o'clock seen from the bivvy been in the bivvy most of the day and it's been a bit of a bit of a grey wet day today so yeah been pretty much stuck in here but chilling out I thought maybe we might nick a bite in the day seeing the weather had gone a bit like this good fishing weather but alas not to be so so it does seem to be nights you know I've left the lines out I redid them all this morning first thing in the morning got them all back out of there a bit of fresh bait thinking yeah maybe but no not even a beep so I've got to redo them because of the craze in here. I don't want a chance of having no bait on, especially as the main bite time is at night. So let's get them all freshed up, back on the spots, fresh bait over and ready for the evening. Get a couple of fresh rigs tied up, ready to swap over if we get any takes in the night. Try and speed it up a bit and uh, see what happens. But yeah, not a lot to report today, apart from wet and grey. But I have got a few rigs ready in there, ready to go. There we go. But yeah, so just chilling and waiting. And we're not far off the point where I need to get out there. So I'm going to wait for a little lull in the old rain. Quickly don my gear, out in the boat, get the rigs out. Wind slightly changed direction, slightly. Coming slightly from my left across the front of me now as opposed to coming from the right so yeah it has sort of done I suppose a bit of a a bit of a 180 no not 180 about a 90 degree turn but yeah let's see what happens coming out of the boat now but yeah see you all in a bit still Thursday evening just got the rods back out in position, been out and done those. I've fresh rigs on on the rods. The only rod I haven't done is the one on the end there. I'm just gonna leave that. That's fishing totally different to all the other ones. That is literally sat on a shallower spot. Um, I'm just gonna leave it. I'll play around with that one tomorrow. But yeah, that's out there in play. So I'm just gonna let that be see if anything occurs on it and we'll check that one out tomorrow morning I'll probably have all the rods in tomorrow morning about half 10 11 and leave them out all day tomorrow just just chill for the day I'm gonna run out of lead so I need to go back to the van get some more leads but yeah I've got them rods back out there's a little bit of slicking going on out there on the water I've just put the bait you can see it's coming up off the spot so, yeah, hopefully it's just settling down or hopefully it's not a little silver fish on it, but it probably is. But yeah, this is the scene. It's just stopped raining. Been out, slid out there, down the rod. So, I'm going to start to eat in a little while. Get back to bed and see if it starts again tonight. You never know, it could all dry up, but I'm confident, hopefully, at least one fish tonight. That's the plan. One tonight. Just keep it ticking along. Don't want to be greedy, but I'm going to work it. If I keep getting bites, I will keep redoing rods. So let's see if I can just capitalise a little bit on this little spell of good fishing weather. See what happens. Until then, adios. Right, first fish. What we got? 
There's one of the old cricket bat commons. Cricket bat common in the net. So, yeah. We're going to let that go. Not going to get it out. No, no, keep letting it go. There you go, I thought I'd show you. First one of Thursday night. Let's get the rod back out. Bad size, that one. So, yeah, we'll get it back in. Right, um, Thursday, Thursday evening. Don't know what time. Ten, half ten. Just had that cricket back common that I just showed you. A second ago. Got it in the net. Unhooked it. Put it straight back in. No point getting it out. Uh, rod's redone. Back out on the spot. We're fishing again, so yeah. Whew, knackers me doing that, but yeah. So we're back out fishing. Big fish Thursday. Bivvy's full of bloody mozzies. Sort that out, and then uh, hopefully something else will come along. Till next time, or a bit later. Adios. Right, couple here. Double take. Double take. Spin it round, show you. Right. Double take. Do one, then the other. Lively common. Quite a long one. Quick up and down with this. Big cricket bat, common. Up and down. Thank you very much. This a bit. There you go. Cricket back common. Closely followed by a beautiful, beautiful linear. Look at that. Nice little linear. So, I can't grab all that. Get water on. Side linear, there you go. Big lin. Better stamp the fish now. Getting up there, getting up there. Look at that cracker. <laughs> well pleased. So I'll get back in. Still done. Right back again. Uh, as you just see, two fish. Had one on, just got it in the net, other rods ripping off. Managed to net them both in the same net, got them out, nice common and a lovely linear. So there you go. So yeah, uh, just rebaited, both rods back out on the spots. So we're all back in play again. So that's um, three tonight. So doing well, yeah. And they're getting a bit bigger. So let's see what happens. Well, not a lot to say. Today has been a very quiet day. It's Friday now, very quiet. I've just been chilling out all day. Uh, when I got some more leads out of the van because I ran out of leads. Uh, chilled out, nothing happened, brought all the rods in. Um, literally just put them back out again about half an hour ago. And uh, yeah, we're just getting ready for another night. And I'm on, I'm on nine fish so far. Couple of nice ones amongst them, nice scaly ones, linears and plated ones, a few commons. So yeah, final night, nearly out of bait, nearly out of leads, but we've got one night ahead. All rods back in position, let's see what happens. Oh yeah, hopefully camera comes out again a bit later, and hopefully get a nice one. But we shall see. Well, Saturday morning now, and uh, what can I say, that was absolutely dead quiet night not a single touch on any of the rods how different could that be every night I've had tape last night was quiet as 
quiet as a mouse. So, I think yesterday the weather changed, the high pressure started coming in. It's just switched it off, totally switched off. No other reason for it. The rods, the rods were back out on the spot, loads of bait over them. Got them lovely, perfect, all four rods, all redone, last night fresh. So yeah, that, the fish just moved out. So there you go, that's fishing for you. But anyway, can't grumble, nine fish for the session. Over the moon with that. Just gonna sit it out, let this fog clear. Never like fishing in the fog, but uh, let it clear, hopefully sun comes out, dries a few bits out, slow pack up in the boat, across the other side, and little journey home. Oh, I had a beep then. Funny enough. I don't know what that was. No, it won't be. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, then the journey home. Another session done. The third time down now, I think I'm on 11 fish. So there you go. Well pleased with that. So, time to pack up.